Hi peeps, how are you doing folks? Always good to see you. Welcome to my channel. I'm inside a cave, yeah, but check out the view. See, I told you so. By the way, this is the first time I'm in front of a camera for my YouTube channel. And you know what they say, there's a first time for everything. So, how to increase the maximum upload file size on WordPress running on Docker for Windows? That is what this video is all about. Have you been using Docker as your local WordPress development environment? I know I have for some time now. For the purpose of this video, I will presume you know the basics about Docker, Docker containers, WordPress installation, because I have all of that set up for this video. You could say you won't see basics here, but an intermediate level of knowledge is necessary. Shall we switch to my computer screen now? Like you see here, I have a dozen of WordPress instances configured as Docker containers. Only one is running, one called Dental. It consists of three containers uh, communicating on an internal network. They really made a terrific job at Docker with this Docker for Windows app. What is noteworthy here, we are going to remember the port number 8007. Okay, let's switch to the VP site. And here we are at our VP site. It is a template for a dental clinic I'm developing. Please check the URL here. It is port 8007. We will switch to the well-known dashboard now. So we have a problem here, a well-known problem. We are hard capped at two megabytes. This could especially present a problem if you're using the all-in-one VP migration tool. You will have trouble importing a VP backup with this plugin since this limitation, of course. So to overcome this obstacle, we are going to paste a few lines of code into .htaccess file of this WordPress instance. Where would we find the htaccess file on Docker? It's located right here. I will copy paste this exact location in the description box below this video, as well the lines of code we have to paste in the HD access file. So you can copy paste it and manipulate it to your heart's content. So what we are searching for is this folder, dental underscore WordPress underscore data. And here we will find the HD access file. What you wanna do is press enter right here and paste these exact lines of code. I will put it in the description box below the video, remember? So we will save this TXT file, get back to our VP site, refresh everything. Voila, the maximum upload file is 256 megs. Let's check the media section also, 256 megs. So that's it. What do you think, was it difficult? I want to use this opportunity to show you how to activate the Elementor Pro version. So you have to make a profile on Elementor.com, purchase the Pro license, then download this zip file, which is three and a half megs in size. We will go into plugins, choose add new and go to upload plugins. Since we have it downloaded locally, we will go to browse and get the Elementor Pro. Click on install now plugin installed successfully. So we just click activate plugin. There you go. The Elementor Pro is here and activated. All you have to do is navigate to Elementor, go to license, connect it to your Elementor account, the one you used when you initially purchased the Pro version. Hope you found the video useful. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it. Take care and to your success.